hi in this video i'm going to show you how to weave ends i have here two different examples of stitches so this is single crochet and this is double crochet but it doesn't really matter so let's get started with a double crochet this is how i weave ends so i already chain one here but first i'll let take that out so here like this i am in my last a stitch and then I'm going to chain one grab that yarn and pull through and then pull and pull and then just pull tight so normally what I'm going to do I'm going to insert my hook here in the last stitch so this way I really it is really secure so first I'm gonna cut a little bit I will make it a bit shorter so like that so I can make a few knots. So this one, I'm using this kind of um, closing the end by making a few knots and then I take this in a half and then I grab that yarn and pull and then I'm going to insert in the same stitch at the back then grab that yarn and pull at the back so like this it is easier to make a few knots so one two so this way it is easier for me and i use it most of the time in my projects or in my tutorial and then i will repeat in the other side so grab that in the other side and then turn and grab the one in the other side again and like Make a few knots again to repeat. One and two. And very easy. And then I will put this together. Sometimes I cut it already, but this time I will hide it. So one, two, and more stitches coming if I have more um, stitches. But this one is my last one, so. I'm gonna cut that and just like that so I still have here a little bit but it's okay it doesn't bother me so it's up to you how you really want to wave your ends but this one is the one I always use a lot and then I just do the same here in the bottom to hide to just hide this stitch here this is not the end, but this is the beginning of our round. So I will just hide it here. Super easy. You can do the same process here at the back. I mean at the top to make a few knots, put them in a half. Like this. But this time we can just go here in this stitches here in the bottom grab that yarn and make a few knots so make sure this is um, inside and this is the back side so it is more clean so like this and then it is really secured and just like that and then put this together and hide it again here and Go to the next stitch in the bottom, same double crochet stitch and grab that. And then watch one more time. Okay, not possible anymore, just cut the rest of that yarn. Okay. So looks like I cut a little bit here, but make sure you don't. But it's okay, this is just a sample and how I show you. And this is how it looks like. It's not so obvious. Especially it is the same color and if you don't focus on it then it's really not obvious at all. So it's very easy. So now the other one I'm going to show you. This is the formal way of how to wave ends yarn over and pull through 
and pull tight so I have here a needle this time we're gonna use a needle and insert that yarn in the needle hole and pull like that and here we have a stitches here you can use this side or the other side but for me since I am right-handed I will use this area here and let's go through in this stitch here like this one doesn't really matter it is the same color almost in this one here but it's still working anyway and pull as you can see it just um, camouflage you cannot really see it this is much more cleaner than the first one I used but I used that a lot so go here in the next round if you want to make more if you want to make it much more secured like here so making sure it doesn't stick out here and like this pull very easy and this is how it looks like in the side and you can go through here if you want no need to go here and one more here actually you can cut it already it is so much secure now but this is the possibilities what you can do for this so like that and just stretch out a bit so it's really nice and much secure I never really use this uh, method but it seems it's really nice and much cleaner maybe I should use it in the future and there you go and you can do the same here in the bottom let's try that with a needle also for the beginning where we make a slip knot so insert that and pull and hide that so we're just hiding here here and repeat okay and since this is the beginning it doesn't really bother me so I will just cut it already so and this is how it look like it is much much cleaner and secure this is for the single crochet and you can apply the same one here in the double crochet maybe I would go here in the very beginning so this is the difference this is what I use a lot and this is for the single crochet which is so much cleaner just for me I hate using needles a lot in my working time for crocheting so that's why I use this and just go with the flow much faster for me but both can do and much secured both of this method so let me know in the comment section below what you guys use or how you weave ends in your projects so this is for this project that is for this video and thank you guys bye don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your friends for more videos to come in the future see ya bye